our moon has been around for billions of years. The moon has been known since prehistoric times, and it's the second brightest object in the sky after the sun. Recently NASA's Artemis mission showed scientists some strange coloration on the surface of the moon. It was then announced this was due to a form of sunburn. It's well known that our moon has no global magnetic field. Magnetized rocks that can be found close to the surface do have small spots of magnetic fields. Some researchers refer to these as miniature sunscreens. However, the sun rays are deflected away from these areas, and when they hit areas that don't have these sunscreens it causes a chemical reaction. The end result is a darker surface. The team have said they hope these findings will help to protect astronauts from harmful effects of radiation during future missions. Staying on the subject of the moon, a while back China was making headlines by saying they're going to send an illumination satellite in orbit by 2020. They say it will be bright enough to replace street lamps. Essentially, they want to send an artificial moon in orbit. As you can imagine, this has made many people question why they want to do this. After all, we do have something that lights up the night sky, the moon. Scientists have also questioned why they'd want to do this. So far, not much information has been released about the project, and this has left many wondering where the idea came from in the first place. Some have suggested the idea had been in testing for a few years, and the technology was now in place to make it happen. The China Daily newspaper stated that huge mirrors could be launched by 2022. It's not clear from any reports whether this project has any official backing. The artificial moon would work as a mirror, reflecting sunlight back to the Earth. So far we don't have any idea how this object will look, but it's thought it won't be small. Reports say the object will orbit 500 kilometers above the Earth. This device is said to be able to reflect sunlight across an area of between 10 kilometers and 80 kilometers. What's worried some people though is that it's been estimated the artificial moon will be 8 times as bright as the real moon. It's been said this could have an effect on wildlife and even some people sleep. Some wildlife depend on the moonlight. The reason behind doing this is to save money by cutting back electric bills. This includes saving money on things like street lamps. It's been estimated that by constructing this artificial moon it could save China up to £132 million a year. So what do you guys make of this idea? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.